Hey, good morning everyone. Justin again, as always. Thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. This morning I'm going to do a quick unboxing of this Works uh, Pegasus 2-in-1 table. So what really caught my eye about this was that I've got some sawhorses that kind of broke down. They were the cheap plastic ones, the ones you can get two for 40 bucks. And if I was to upgrade to the next platform, which would be more of a metal, kind of rubber based, uh, I think Cobalt had them at 40 bucks a pop, that would have been about 80. <clears throat> and again, if I wanted some kind of work surface or a nice smooth cut or something like that, um, I would have probably had to throw a piece of OSB over the top of it uh, in order to get some kind of table topper or something like that or just cut ends off so this what was really enticing about this was it was a uh, workhorse sawhorse okay so I had on the back here it's a work table but it has these individual wood clamps that can come in and actually grab onto any piece that you're trying to cut thus giving you some kind of uh, ability of being able to hold it steady. You no more having to fight with uh, the two saw horses being side by side and then having to make a cut up the middle and then having you know potentially some binding going on. This will actually hold it in place so once you set the depth on your circ saw and you run it through it, you should be fine, good to go, pick it up and move on. So since me and my oldest daughter are going to be trying to build her a table and then I have a cabinet to uh, fix, and then I'm hoping to finish up some other cabinets. What better of a work surface or table to have than something like this that can actually hold everything steady, uh, and then it'll give her an idea of you know what kind of tools that are involved when we make a table. All right, so here is the Works Pegasus Workbench Sawhorse. Now it's got, look at this, we got grooves here, for putting in the clamps. They got the two storages right down here on the bottom for the clamps so you can slide them up <clears throat> and attach them to your desired length which we'll do here momentarily. Um, just overall nice appears to be nice sturdy work surface. I'm gonna go ahead and put the miter saw on top of it and just see how it feels. That's a pretty sturdy platform, gentlemen. That's nice and sturdy. And so, no matter what direction I want to put the Metabo, it just seems like it holds up pretty nice and strong. I mean, I can put a good fair amount of weight behind this thing. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Now, as far as the height, it would have been nicer to have it be a little bit taller, but, I'm not too disappointed in the height. You know, I'm a, I'm a tall person, and uh, I know if the wife ever needs to do anything, this would be a perfect height for her. But for me, it's still not a bad height. It's got little tiny uh, holes here that I could put a screwdriver or a chisel in if I needed to. So I'm happy with that. Let me get this miter saw off real quick, and we'll see how these uh, clamps set up. I'm taking, I'm removing it from the storage area that they have it in, and I'm going to slide this one up a little bit just to kind of give me some space. This portion right here and this portion right here lock in down here at the end of the table. So obviously you squeeze the handle, it tightens it up, push the top button, we can slide it back. So if I want to drop it in here like so, <clears throat> I come to the very end. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hang on. Okay, so what I'm going to end up doing, because it has a rail in here, a guide rail for this to slide and move, is we're going to come over here to the end, we're going to drop it in, we're going to slide it back. Once we get it slid back far enough, I can actually drop this thing down here towards the end. <clears throat> now once I squeeze the, the clamp, it's going to pull that little, it's going to pull this uh, detent lock, if you will, in and tuck it in. Once it does that, it'll drop into place. And now we have we can make our adjustments however we need to for when we want to clamp something down. So let me grab a two by four and I'll just show you. 
Okay, so here I've got two two by fours stacked up. So say I'm getting ready to run, I don't know, my circ saw through it, or or I needed it to be set up in a way that I can actually have it stationary to shoot nails in. Well, I can take these guys here, slide them in relatively close. I can come down here with these triggers and pull my project in nice and tight. <clears throat> All right, everyone, so that is the two-in-one Works Pegasus workbench or work table. Uh, like I said, there's a lot to love about this table. And for how much you're actually paying for, I think it's actually a pretty kick-ass uh, table, to be honest. I know they show in the picture that if you wanted to, you can actually get two and stack them side by side. I mean, shoot, you can even take these clamps completely off and probably put like four of these things, boom, 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 all together, and you could throw an entire sheet of uh, plywood on the top of them. Let's take one measurement into consideration before we wrap up this video. I'm sure somewhere on the box it gave us a dimension, uh, but I want to make sure that uh, I don't need to correct myself later. Let's just see how many tables we would have to buy in order to throw a 8 foot by 4 foot sheet of OSB on it. Alright, so right now we're at about 2.5 feet in width or 31 inches. So. Okay, so let's see, we'll just, two and a half, all right, all right, let's go with the length now. Let's go a different direction here. All right, so from end to end, we're at 25. So, just a, basically one inch over two feet. So if we needed four foot, we could absolutely put two of these bad boys together which would give us four feet, two inch. So a little bit of overhang, right? One inch on each side. So that's cool. Uh, so that gives us four feet there. Now, if we wanted to go this way with it, uh, we might need to go, I mean, you could probably get away with four, you know? I know that we said that it was just under, uh, just a little bit under three feet, so we're two and a half feet, so that would give you five feet. So you'd have three foot of overhang and say you had it perfectly centered on there, you'd have a foot and a half hanging off of either side. Still, that's not really bad considering how flimsy a piece of a OSB can be, especially if it's only a sixteenth, uh, you know, thick. So, having a nice work surface like that where you can work in segments, run down the middle, just give yourself an overall nice work surface, I think that's pretty awesome. Not to mention the fact that if you don't use the work table, uh, with these, if you're not using these clamps with the work table, we can absolutely take them off and store them for later, give it, giving us an absolutely flat work surface. So, the other thing that I thought was actually kind of cool about it is that if we had other projects that we wanted to do, we could take these works wood clamps, which if you guys have looked at the Irwin ones, they run about $25 a piece, sometimes $40 a piece, uh, depending on which how long of one that you want to buy. So if you think about it like that, that's a pretty good savings in my opinion because, let's see, you're getting the workbench. So if I would have bought the Cobalts, that would have been 80 bucks. If I would have bought two of these separately, that's another 50, we're at 130 bucks. So already you've got a nice savings uh, with going with this table. So I'm actually pretty impressed, I am. I might actually go back and get another one later down the road, but for right now this is totally gonna work for what it is that I need it to work for. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Share if you want to share. Go to Lowe's.com or go into your local Lowe's and uh, see if you can't scoop one of these up, uh, like or two, or however many you think you want. All I'm saying is uh, not a bad buy, in my opinion. That's all I got for this video. We'll see you guys next time. Deuces.